In today's video, I'll show you how to highlight a certain part of your video to make it stand out and use the video animator to animate the highlighted part of your clip. Hey guys, and welcome back to Final Cut Pro Thursdays. If you're new here, I release a new Final Cut Pro tutorial video every Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss them. As always, if you find this video helpful, please like, comment, and share. So, let's get started. In my demo project, I have a clip with a pirate ship out at sea. I want to highlight it to make it stand out. To highlight it, I'm going to use a generator from my generator's browser. With a playhead at the start of my clip, in the browser, I'll select Titles and Generators. From the Generators drop-down menu, I'll select Solids and Custom Generator. On my keyboard, I'll press R to switch to the Range Selection tool, set a range to the duration of my clip, and press Q to perform a 3-point connect edit. For more information on 3-point edits, check out Part 12 of my tutorial series. I'll link it in the description and up top. Press 8 to go back to the Select tool. A solid black generator is placed over my clip. First thing I want to do is increase the transparency of this solid generator so that some of the underlying video shows through. I'll select the generator, open the inspector, and make sure video is selected. I'll reduce the opacity of this generator to about 90%. I can do it with a slider, or I can select this number, type in 90, and hit enter. You can see my underlying video barely showing through. Now I need to cut a hole in this generator so the part I'm trying to highlight, the ship in my example, shows through. I can do that by applying Shape Mask. I'll open the Effects Browser, select Masks, and drag and drop the Shape Mask over my generator clip to apply it. By default, Final Cut Pro masks off the outside of the selected area so everything outside the wireframe is transparent. What I need to do first is invert this mask so instead of the outside being transparent, the inside is. Over in the Inspector, in the Masks parameter box, I'll select this Invert Mask checkbox. Now I'll click and drag the center button to center my mask over the ship and use the control points to adjust the size and shape of my mask. I can also use the feather and fall off sliders to soften the edges of my mask. If I want this effect to fade in and out, I can use the video animator. I'll select my generator clip and press Ctrl V to open the video animator. I'll double click on the opacity section to expand it and now I can use the fader handles in the top corners to make the effect fade in and fade out. I can also use the video animator to make my highlighted area move to follow a moving subject. I have a bird flying away in my next clip I can use as an example. I use the same method as I did in the previous clip to apply a mouse to highlight the bird and open the video animator. I'll set the playhead at the start of my clip and in the shape mouse section of the video animator from the drop down menu I'll select position. To animate this mask, I'll have to add at least two keyframes. I'll add a keyframe at the start by selecting Modify from the menu bar and add keyframe to select an effect, or use the keyboard shortcut Option K. The keyframe is placed in the Shape Mask section of my video animator. Now I'll skim over and place my playhead at the end of my clip and reselect Shape Mask section. When I click and drag the center button of my mouse to the new position, Final Cut Pro automatically adds another keyframe. If I skim over my clip, you can see the mask effect moves from the position selected in the first keyframe to the next one. You can add as many keyframes as necessary for more precision by setting the playhead, selecting Shape Mask in the animator, and clicking and dragging the center button of the mask. By using a video generator and the mask effect, you can highlight and animate any part of your video clip. If you found this video helpful, please like and share. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them in the comments below. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel. New videos every Thursday. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.